Guys, if you've ever tried taking product photos as a content creator and ended up with something that looks boring, I've been there. As someone who creates a lot of content, I always want my visuals to look clean and professional. But I don't have the time or space to build a mini studio setup every time I need a good shot. That's why I was pretty excited when I found this tool called X-Design. It helps turn basic shots into polished product photos in just a few clicks. No fancy gear or editing skills required. My name's Daniel, and in this video, I'll walk you through how X-Design works, what sets it apart from your usual editing apps, and why it's quickly becoming one of my favorite tools as a creator. Guys, make sure you check out all the useful links in the description after watching this video. There might be some nice discounts there. Let's jump in. Alright guys, so let's talk about X-Design. Because if you've ever struggled with product photos that just look average, this might be your new favorite tool. It's like your own mini photo studio, powered by AI. But don't worry, it's super simple to use. You don't need a fancy camera or editing skills. Just upload your product photo, and it does the hard work for you. And folks, it's perfect if you're selling stuff online and want your images to look clean and professional without hiring anyone. You can change colors, remove backgrounds, and make your photos stand out in just a few clicks. What's really cool is the new lifestyle features. They make your products feel like they belong in a real home, not some plain white box. So yeah, guys, X-Design isn't just an editor. It's more like your personal design body that helps your products look their best with zero stress. But let me show you how it works, guys. I'll head over to their website, xdesign.com. Click this sign-in button and use my Google account to get in. By the way, it's also available on iOS and Android, which is pretty damn handy. And once you're logged in, here's what you'll see. A clean and uncluttered workspace that's super easy to interact with. Right away you can see two main sections, photo editor and designer. We'll talk about them in more detail later. In the tools tab you can really see what this software has to offer. And I have to say, the choice is impressive. There's everything from image background remover to image enhancer with lots in between. And as you can see, there are image batch tools, which are great time savers. And a few video tools as well. In the My Designs section you'll find the projects you worked on. And last but not least, they have a huge library of pretty backgrounds to get inspired by. You can use any of them in your projects if you want to. Guys, before we move on, I try to make my content fun instead of boring. And in return, please like this video and subscribe to my channel if you enjoy the content I make. Okay guys, let me show you some of the features in action. I'll try the AI background generator first. For this, I'll upload my image. And as you can see, the tool removes the background from it automatically, which is pretty neat. So what do we have here? First, there is a huge number of different presets, divided into all kinds of categories. For example, you can pick a solid color background for your image. Or you can try a studio backdrop, the choice is pretty nice too. Or you can pick one of the window side backgrounds if you want to. But if presets aren't your theme, you can upload your own backdrops and scenes and adjust the similarity right here. Another great thing about this tool is that you can actually use AI to generate your own backgrounds. Just type in a prompt or upload a reference image and this neat little tool will do everything for you. But let me show you something really cool. The auto-generated listing sets. You can create a whole image set in just one click. Here in ChatGPT background tab, you can see images marked with a set icon. Choose the one you like. Click generate and wait a little. Let's see what the result is like. And there you go. I got a set of high quality images with candles. Honestly, they all look like pretty decent product photos. No artifacts, the hands look normal. But that's not all this X-Design tool can do, folks. What really sets it apart is the all-in-one AI photo editor workflow. Let me show you. Let's say I want to edit this image here. The photo editor has a few very useful features that work extremely well. For example, if I want to remove the background from this photo, I can do just that. And as you can see, it's a very clean cutout. And if I want to replace the background with a solid color, I can do that too. Here, you can also increase your image quality. And here, you can use the AI tools to remove some parts of your image. For example, I want to get rid of the text on this t-shirt. I just toggled the feature. And there you go, the text got removed. There's a bit left there, but that's not a problem. I can use the manual eraser to get rid of that too. All I have to do is select the part I want removed. 
click remove and wait a little. Boom, nice and clean. There's also an option to retouch your images. You can choose any filter or do manual correction. The choice of filters is pretty impressive. I could play with this feature for hours. Alright, my friends, so after spending some solid time with X Design, I've gotta say, this tool makes product photo editing way less stressful and honestly, kind of fun. Whether you're selling handmade stuff, drop shipping, or just want better looking pics for your online shop, this platform gives you everything you need without making things complicated. From removing backgrounds to generating cozy lifestyle scenes with AI, it's all super intuitive, folks. You don't need to be a designer, you don't need fancy gear. Just upload your photo, click a few buttons, and you've got something that actually looks professional. So guys, if you're curious, definitely give it a try. I've dropped a link down below, and there might be a discount waiting for you too. And hey, if you end up testing it out, let me know what you think in the comments. I'd love to hear what kind of products you're working on, or if you found a favorite feature I didn't cover. As usual, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching, and till next time.